quasi here. And in this video, I wanna show you an advanced detachment process called abundance setting. Before I begin this video, I want to quickly announce that I'm doing a free giveaway of my book, Life Mastery. If you want to enroll into a competition to win this book at the end of the week for completely free, just comment Life Mastery down below. Also, I'm super excited to announce that the Reality Mastery free one-to-one -one consult is still available, so just wait till the end of the video for the announcement on that. So in this video, we're gonna talk about abundance setting, and now you might be wondering, Quasi, what the hell does that mean? Well, essentially, a lot of the times we have attachment and the nature of life is such that whenever we live and do things every single day, we create attachments because this is just a form of karma. Karma literally means action. Whenever you take action, whenever you live life, you can't help but create attachment. And we know that attachment is the biggest, biggest blocker of the law of attraction and manifestation. Now to really explain to you why attachment is so, so bad for the law of attraction, we have to go into an aspect of this manifestation space called reality transurfing. And if you don't know what reality transurfing is, it's essentially a quantum physics model to view reality and the events that actually occur in it. Now it was written by a Russian quantum physicist called Vadim Zeeland. And if you haven't checked this book out, I highly encourage you to do so because it's a crazy literal bible of manifestation and for someone who's a geeky engineering major like me it made a lot of sense because it really scientifically explains the events in re reality and how they occur in that book vadim zeeland talks about the concept of importance and there is inner importance and outer importance so inner importance is when there is too much meaning, excessive meaning attached to any sort of personal value or shortcoming that you have, where you say, I'm, you know, whenever you get cocky or whenever you get too victim mindset, then you resist the manifestation process. But also there is external or outer importance, which is when you attribute too much meaning to an event that is external to you. So anytime you put too much importance on something, what happens is you're creating an imbalance in nature because compared to everything else, this event is too important or you are too important compared to this event. So this is inner importance. This is outer importance when the external event is too important. In understanding that when the importance level gets notched up, what happens is reality wants to balance this out. You create an excessive potential. And an excessive potential, by the way, I've made lots of videos on this, so make sure you click up here to understand it in detail. But an excessive potential is kind of like gravitational potential. If I put a pen up here, it gains gravitational potential as opposed to being on the ground. So it is now at a higher energy level and wants to go to a state of lower energy level. And once I let go of the pen, once it hits the ground, it's in balance because it's at the lowest energy state. Just like that, when your importance level, your thought energy is attributed to too much meaning to something, the excessive potential brings it up here and nature generates balanced forces to come in and balance this. So it creates polarization. If you want something too much, it usually gives you more of what you don't want just to create this balance because now you're creating too much polarization. Now, in understanding that, now that we know that too much importance creates actual resistance, we want to know how to surrender and let go. And this process is very, very difficult for a lot of people. And I realized that it can be difficult to understand the concept of, you know, how can I intend but let go at the same time? And we are going to dive deep into how you can create abundance in your life so that you never have to feel attached to any one thing. So this process of abundance setting is only when you're unable to consciously reduce your own importance. If you can just talk to yourself and say, ah, this isn't too important to me, then nothing else needs to be done. If you can get into the full realization that, ah, this isn't too important to me, then nothing else needs to be done. You've reduced importance. You shall get to your goal. However, in situations where it's not possible to do that because you've been programmed a certain way and you're still working on reprogramming yourself, by the way, this is the most powerful principle of 
manifestation. Make sure you click up here to understand the concept of you know, reprogramming yourself and working with your current program at the same time. This will change your life. Make sure you click up here to understand that. But in understanding that if your program isn't up there already, you have to create safety nets for yourself. So what I mean by that is essentially this. So think about a man crossing a tightrope. It's on a very high precipice. He's trying to get to the other side. As he takes one step, fear arises within him. This feeling of fear is inner importance because he attributes too much meaning to his own life and that if he takes the wrong step, he's going to plunge into his own death. So now there is excess potential as a result of this heightened importance that he has. So one step he takes, another step he takes, fear level rises, fear level rises. Now, there is no way for him to consciously reduce the fear. He can tell himself all he wants that yeah, nothing to be afraid of, but it's just been programmed into him. And it will take some time to overcome that programming, maybe some practice doing this, you know, tightrope cross. But in that moment in time, the only way for him to reduce importance is to create external situations that shows his mind that there is nothing to be afraid of. And the only way to do that is to create a safety net under the tightrope so that even if he does fall, he doesn't die. So his mind isn't, oh no, if I fall, I'm going to die. But rather, if I fall, I'm just going to be caught by the safety net. Do you see what I mean? So this is essentially what abundance setting is. It's a very temporary solution, but it's very, very powerful. So abundance setting is only for the period of time where you haven't been programmed, you're not used to doing this and you're doing it for the first time and you need to reduce your importance. So to really drive this idea home, too much importance or too much outer importance is when you attribute excessive meaning to an external event. So now to go to examples of this, imagine you're going to a job interview and you've been trying to get this job for a while. This is your ideal job. You've you know, really put this up on a pedestal and now there's too much importance in getting this job. What do you do? You go into the job interview really nervous because of this excessive meaning you've put to this event. Do you see what's happening? This excessive meaning is creating excess potential. When you put too much importance on an external event, it creates excessive potential. Nature ger generates balanced forces to come balance this inhomogeneity in its field. So now in doing that, when you go to the job interview, you're going to automatically, you know, its effects are going to show by you being nervous, you messing things up, you not saying the right things, etc, etc. So abundance setting comes in handy at this situation. So let's say, you know, you have a job interview, how you would do abundance setting is you would make more and more job interviews after you would generate more job interviews after this particular job interview. So you can say to your mind, if this doesn't happen, no problem, I can get another job. If that doesn't happen, I can get another job. This way you are creating situations of abundance and safety nets for yourself so that whenever you fall, there's something to catch you. So remember that the idea is not to let an external event create pressure on you if you want to create pressure on yourself to perform. So let's say you decide to quit your nine to five and take your business full time. By the way, this is something that I did. You can completely do that and it's a powerful way to just perform. You know, it's a powerful way to burn the bridges. Burning the bridges does work and you know, sometimes it doesn't. It's only when you can consciously reduce your own importance that in those situations, you don't need abundance setting. When you create the pressure on yourself, it's not a problem. When you consciously choose to do this for yourself, it never poses a problem. But when you let an external event do this to you, then it's a problem. Then you're living a compulsive cycle. Then you're no longer a creator of your reality, but a reactor. You're reacting to your reality. You're not proacting, you're reacting. So make sure you don't get into that stage. Now, in understanding that, let's say you go on a date and you really like this girl or this guy and you've been thinking about him or her for a while. So now this excessive importance comes in again. You're placing too much importance on this person. And this is the biggest reason why people are, you know, never get their specific person because the more they want their specific person, the more they put them on a pedestal and the more they overinflate this one person's value. Nature brings in this balanced forces and balances out this polarization that you're creating. When you say, I want something too much, then nature gives you more of don't have it, don't have it, don't have it. So it creates balance again. Now, the only way to get rid of excessive potentials in that case is to create 
abundant setting for yourself. And how would you do that? Well, you would obviously set up more dates with more people, you know, just go on a dating app or something or, you know, try to find out more suitable partners to go on dates with. And in that way, you will be able to consciously reduce your importance. Maybe not consciously, but at the same time, not unconsciously, because you are choosing to create this abundance for yourself until you can get to the point where any event becomes, oh, well, if it happens, great. If it doesn't, even better. That is the mindset you generally want to have. That means you're completely free of all of these excessive potentials and you can just calmly go and take whatever you want. Achieving your goals should be kind of like going to the deli and, you know, getting a sandwich. But as one of my clients described it, and he described this really well, some bigger goals have energetic differences, so they're further away. So maybe this deli, when you want to make a million dollars, is not like going to the nearest deli downstairs and taking the sandwich, but rather getting in your car, going to the highway, driving 40 miles, 50 miles, but eventually you'll get there. When the time is right, it will come. Maybe there's some traffic, maybe there isn't, but at the same time, you will get there. That is for sure. So I want you to have that mindset with any sort of goal that you're trying to achieve, that if it happens, great. If it doesn't, even better. Until and unless you can get to that, use this abundance setting process to create situations for abundance for you. And remember that it doesn't matter, you know, what you, what positive emotion you feel, what negative emotion you feel. It matters what sort of importance you're attributing to this particular event in your life. If it's too important to you, then it is creating excessive potentials. And when you create excessive potentials, the sad thing is 90% of your personal intention energy is tied up in overcoming this excessive potential. So going back to the case of the man walking the tightrope, it would just be akin to you know, him resisting his fear. And as a result of resisting his fear, he has less intention energy available to actually cross to the other side. And you will see that once this man does cross to the other side, he will be completely drained. He'll start panting because now he has drained his intention energy completely and fighting the excessive potential and use that 10% that's left to actually get to the other side. So with that, I conclude this video. I sincerely hope this helped. Please let me know what you thought of this and if this helped you out because I've been getting a lot of questions about, you know, quasi, how do I reduce importance? The question becomes how to reduce importance. This is how you reduce importance by creating external situations for you by abundance setting. So just to recap, too much importance is what creates this excessive potential. Excessive potential, again, make sure you've watched this video up here to understand what it really is. Excessive potential is akin to gravitational potential energy and nature wants to come balance this out by polarized forces. Outer importance is when you attribute too much meaning to something external to you, some event that's about to occur or something else. Inner importance is when your personal values you put too much importance on. Let's say you're a victim and you focus too much on that, too much importance on, oh no, I can't do this, I can't do that, me, 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 me. Or, ah, look at me, I'm awesome, I'm fantastic, huh, I can do whatever I want, me, 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 me. That's also creating excessive potentials. Two examples that I gave you were job interviews and dates, but you can use this for any other event. Personally, for me, when I first started off in this coaching business, whenever I would talk to a potential prospective client, I would get really attached, like, oh, this person is a really right fit, I should sign, I should sign, come on, if I don't sign, oh no, oh no. That's when I would create excessive importance for myself. But if I started talking to more and more prospective clients every single day, then if one client says no, no problem, great. I have another one and I have another one and I have another one. More people are coming every single day. The program is filling up. So it's never really a problem. And I want you to get to that point of abundance so that you never have to go, oh no, what do I do now? The best mindset to have is to get to a point where you just say, if it happens, great. If it doesn't, even better. Until and unless you can get to that point, you must use a button setting to reduce importance for all of these events that are coming up in your life. And you will see eventually you will get to that point because your mind will have enough proof that you know, if it happens, great. If it doesn't, then even better. That's why you'll see that people who are much older have less importance to events in their lives. So they can just be goofy. They can just you know give less shit. You want to just not give a shit. That's the point you want to get to. So with that, I conclude this video. I sincerely hope this helped. If you like this kind of content, make sure you like, comment, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe and also hit the bell because believe it or not, if you don't hit the bell, then you don't get notified of any new video that I put up. 
Also, make sure you join our Facebook group where we'll be sharing all of this kind of stuff and advanced principles that help you really shift your reality and pursue the things that you want and sort of attract them in your life as well. Click on the link below to join our Facebook group and I'm looking forward to seeing you there. And also, I'm super excited to announce that the Reality Mastery Program is open for enrollment and we will be taking members for the month of August because we're fully booked this month, but we're also filling up for next month. So this might be the last time that I do this one-to-one because it's getting really scaled up. And uh, I hope I see you on the free one-to-one console to see if you'd be a right fit for this. But to just give you an example of the Reality Mastery Program, what it's about, it's essentially the most powerful paradigm of manifestation. See, what I found in my personal life was that whenever I shifted into the ideal version of myself, the version of myself that would be experiencing that reality, I started experiencing that reality. And this was probably the quickest way to achieve goals. I saw that when I shifted into the attractive version of myself, boom, my dream partner came into my life. When I shifted into the 4.0 GPA version of myself, I started getting 4.0 GPA grades in school. When I shifted into the entrepreneur version of myself, I was able to attract my dream life where I can quit my nine to five, the dreadful nine to five that made it feel like Groundhog Day every day and really take something that I love doing and I love waking up doing every single day. So I want to have this possible for you as well and I know it's possible for you as well because I'm helping my clients do this in their lives every single day. So make sure you take advantage of this opportunity and click on the link to sign up for the free one-to-one consult and I hope I see you there. Till next time, peace.